Tonight, one of the world's most wanted cartel leaders is in a Mexican jail cell. Mexican authorities arrested the son of former drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. Ovidio Guzman was wanted by the U.S. and has been called a major trafficker of fentanyl and other drugs. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe has more on his capture and reaction from a former U.S. attorney. In 2021, the State Department had offered a $5 million reward for any information that led to Ovidio Guzman's arrest. And tonight, U.S. officials say his capture is a significant blow to the Sinaloa cartel. Ovidio Guzman, the son of the infamous crime and drug lord known as El Chapo, was taken into custody early morning in Culiacán, Mexico, home to the Sinaloa cartel. The prominent cartel leader is believed to have played a role in drug trafficking and the production of fentanyl, which has made its way through the southern border in record amounts, enough to kill every person in America. I mean, I think it's a, a very welcome and beneficial development. I spoke to a former U.S. attorney who didn't want to be identified, but did say Guzman's capture sends a message to the cartels, but won't do enough to impact or put an end to drug trafficking. I don't know that the arrest of any one individual solves uh, the, the drug trade problem. It, it hasn't in the past. The high-profile capture comes just days before President Joe Biden is set to make his first trip to the southern border since taking office. He will visit El Paso on Sunday. Then on Monday, President Biden will attend a summit in Mexico City and meet with Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. The leaders are set to discuss drug trafficking and immigration. But his arrest didn't come without chaos. The cartel reacted violently by setting vehicles on fire, blocking major roads out of the city, and even opening fire on a military plane as it was arriving at the airport, forcing passengers inside this commercial flight to duck for cover. That's a difficult challenge that Mexico has. Guzman's father, El Chapo, was convicted in a U.S. federal court for drug trafficking and gun charges. He was sentenced to life in prison. His sons inherited a great deal of the narcotics proceeds. And according to the State Department, Ovidio became a high-level cartel leader. Guzman was briefly arrested in 2019, but was released by Mexican security forces after cartel gunmen caused widespread unrest. It's unclear tonight if Guzman will be extradited to the United States. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8.